I love my job. I really do. I give people rides on my pedicab. Most of the time they want to go to the clubs, restaurants, and hotels of downtown Austin. No matter where they want to go, I take them. Short rides, long rides, uphill, downhill, big people, little people, crazy people, drunks, no matter what. I don't care. I just keep going. Keep pedaling. Keep spinning. Breathe and pedal. Breathe and pedal. Just keep going, keep spinning. Then, at the end of the night, I've made some money, I've exercised, and I've had a lot of fun. And the drunks, the fights, and the overt sexuality, they can be quite amusing. Uh, Give me one story. Uh, man, they're inappropriate. I think I took, uh, Four girls from Kenichi to 6th Street. The second I sort of uh, uh, mount my bike, uh, I feel a hand uh, under my uh, grundle, if you will. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, and it wasn't just uh, you know a slap or a pat on the ass. It was there was cuppage and insertion, and it was pretty vile. And uh, I, I get off the cab and I just like look really sternly at them and sort of look them down and say inappropriate. And uh, I get you know get back on and take them to where they want to go and they give me three dollars, four bitches. I pick up this guy with his girlfriend. He's drunk. They throw the grass sticks. They want to go to their parking garage on fourth. You know I'm pedaling, like, standing up, and then I I feel I feel the hand. You know right there. I feel it. She's, she's digging in. Like the fi I feel the finger in my. Oh, she poked. Give me a little poke. <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to sit down. I, you know, I didn't want to hurt her. You know, break her hand sitting down. So I had to ride the whole way standing up with that finger like right there on 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 the entryway. <laughs> the boyfriend doesn't do anything about it. There's these three midgets, midget chicks in my cab. And they want to go to like the gay area and whatnot. One of them tried to give me a reach around on the way there. Well, her hand was too small, her arm was too small, let's put it that way. And her reach wasn't as prominent as she wanted. She ended up falling out of my cab to try to give me a reach around. And she I fell out of your cab. The yeah. midget fell out of your cab. Trying to give a reach around. The lesbian midget fell out of your cab trying to give you a reach around. Yep, and I still have not had two lesbian 69 in my cab yet. I gave this girl, and well, she picked me out like she was like with her boyfriend or something. She picked me out like she was like, I want her. I gave him a ride, and they like tipped me a reasonable amount, you know, and then she was like, all right. And, like a real nonchalant boob grab, like she was giving me like a high five, just like a boob grab. Just, and off. just grabbed you, huh? Just came up and was like, all right, right on the boob. You know, I was once sprayed with breast milk. She's pulled her breast out and she squirts from like two feet away. She just sprays my um, face. Yeah. How and, was it? Oh, I was just kind of shocked. Um, I didn't taste anything. It's kind of sprayed all over my face. I felt it. And she asked, she says, did you taste it? And I, you know, like, no. And she just sprays me again. Just like squirts me in the face. Just hits me. Yeah, some of them are more because then you're gonna immediately go to the sex end of it, but just stuff that I would prefer my grandma not hearing about in case this documentary makes it real big. I got paid to suck on a girl's nipple. I got a $50 bill, like that. She starts telling me, you know, starts talking nasty to me as I'm driving her, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is kind of going where I kind of expected it would go. I dropped off at her house, she's like, are you gonna come in? I go, sorry, baby, I don't fuck Republicans. As we go up, she tells me that I look a lot like her, uh, her husband from behind. <laughs> so we went on, I took her to her place she, uh, the, at the Omni, she was staying at the Omni, and she asked me to come inside. So I had to say no, although- Why know, did you say no, Chief? I, well, I do like older women, you know, and she was physically fit and everything, but I just, you know, uh, her tip was kind of low, mainly. You know, if she tipped me more, who knows? So, last year, had a guy piss out of my cab, going down the alley. What was that like? I, I, 
didn't really care. He was laughing all the time. Look, he tipped me big and didn't piss on my upholstery, so. I hate when that happens. What happens in the cab stays in the cab. As long as we can get the stains out. Nice job. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that compliment. It's nice. I mean, the pedi you can ride the pedicabs. You can oh, those be things. out in the bikes. Don't, don't get know. in those things. Those things are dangerous. What? Right? They're great. I love no, no, them. No, no. For people around the country, these are like uh, folks who uh, went and bought old bicycles and, and just <laughs> like hammered a milk crate on them, and now, and now they're 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 driving people up and down the streets. Oh, it's like a rickshaw. I love it. The pedicab with, community. With, like my well, peers, I, I've never met so much a community than in my whole life. When I started pedicabbing, um, uh, there was a lot of tragedy in my life, and I had insta family, and I'll never forget that. I love pedicabbing because it's all you know. Out here on the streets, it's me. I do it the way I do it, and yeah, I've got a boss that I pay some money to at the end of the night, but. This is this is I, this is my style. You know, I do this my way, and um, get a great workout. Got a great community of friends. You know, I basically came to Austin in January of '06, and boom, got involved with pedicabbing. I've had a badass community of friends ever since. So when I started pedicabbing, I did it because I was doing bicycle street races, and I thought those guys were badass, and I had respect for them. I wanted to be one of those guys. I wanted to have that level of, res of respect for myself, and I've gained it. I think what made us badass and what gave us the, the right to have that level of respect and display our own ego as, a, as somebody who's badass in a, any sort of way at all, the reason we're badass is because we'll take any ride for any amount of money. We work for tips. That's what makes you strong. That's what makes you badass. That's the culture, and that's what, that's what the spirit of pedicabbing is. Oh, my God. 